Well, Leo, nice of you to join me again for the monthly horoscope uh, of May 2015. I'm Didici from astrology.com.au and just uh, at a cursory glance of your horoscope, I'll make it brief. It's just excellent. We see Sun, Mars and Mercury, all pretty good planets for you in the upper part of your horoscope, indicating great professional opportunities and for some of you success, depending on whether you're prepared to grab the bull by the horns and move forward on that. We also see the full moon on the 4th of uh, May taking place in your 4th house of uh, domestic activities, but that uh, fully aspects this 10th house as well, indicating to me some really, really good things. Interestingly, on the 1st, Mercury immediately moves out of this uh, 10th house into the 11th, which is a uh, profitability. So there are some indications here, especially with that being your finance ruler, that you can expect some good uh, profits, some additional income at this time. And that planet uh, is going to occupy that 11th house along with Venus, which has to do with your 10th house of career. It's the ruler of your career as well. So a lot is pointing in that particular direction. And then on the 18th, jumping ahead a little bit, we do see the new moon taking place in the 10th house of career. And that is always a very, very good omen. For those of you looking to bolster your career, move forward and to, you know, get ahead in life. But you can't dilly dally because the, you know, the sun and the Mars there shows us that these are dynamic, active planets. Uh, Taurus, unfortunately, can can stifle you a little bit there. If you're looking purely for the financial remuneration, you're going to be severely disappointed. You might make some money, but that's not going to ultimately give you the success and the satis inner satisfaction that you're looking for. So I'd say this is as much a creatively dynamic aspect as it is a materially uh, productive aspect. So keep that in mind. Balance your material needs with the creative needs of, of what it is you want to do, what it is you love to do. And we talked about that a lot here. Seems to be a recurring theme. And for you this month, definitely an important one. Uh, moving along there, we see the, um, we've mentioned the movement on the 1st to the 11th house of Mercury. Uh, Venus moves to the 12th house within the, you know, on the 8th, within a week. And that's showing us the uh, career for some of you may be tied in with foreign places, uh, maybe shifting your locale. Or if you're in business, for example, in sales, expanding your territory outside of the areas that you normally work in. And that can be very, very productive for you as well. Mind you, Venus also, as well as ruling your career sector, it has to do with your journeys. So that's interesting that the the uh, 12th house is a foreign sort of areas, 3rd house is journeys, 10th house is career. Uh, I'm thinking out loud here, just putting the jigsaw pieces together and how that might play out. And of course, there's going to come a point there uh, later on uh, in the month <clears throat> where it's going to move into the opposition of Pluto. So there's going to be a bit of an obsessive trade around some of these transits and you need to just keep a level head and you know just systematize and prioritize what it is you want to do and get a timeline going there so that you know you don't let your emotions uh, get get the better of you you need to keep a rational mind about all of this mars moves to the 11th on may 12th so there again we see one of your better planets ruling the ninth house and the fourth house uh, uh, activating the profitability sector of your horoscope this one i think is Excellent for those of you that run your own independent businesses. And uh, the 11th house of profits being Gemini uh, indicates to possible dual sources of income, maybe uh, getting receipts from other areas apart from the, um, you know, the traditional uh, source of your income. Uh, so that could mean getting a second job for some of you to supplement your income. That's good. Any more in more in the more income, the better. But as long as you keep happy inside. That's what I said. The creative aspect has to be there. Um, <clears throat> your idealism is very, very strong. Again, Venus in the 12th, uh, Neptune in the 8th. This is a strong spiritual connotation. You're able to... This is the creative thing I'm talking about. When I use the word spirituality, I am referring to the creative output. And that state of creative spontaneity is, to my way of thinking a spiritual state. So that is likely around the 17th. 
Here's one for you, it's going to throw a spanner in the works, is the retrogression of Mercury on the 19th. That's just after that new moon that takes place in the uh, career sector, the retrogression of Mercury in the 11th house. So it's interesting because that again has to do with your profits and uh, your income. It has to do with friendships as well. And so there could be something that <clears throat> you've missed, something that throws your plans uh, sideways and you have to adjust and adapt yourself to that. Usually these retrogressions of Mercury occur over a couple of weeks. So you just have to grin and bear it and just be a little bit patient until you get through that. Miscommunications are likely to happen. So make sure you get clarity when you're talking to people. Sun will uh, bolster that uh, problem or make it a bit easier for you around the 21st when it moves into the 11th house. Look at all this 11th house stuff. That's the theme for you this month. Mercury conjoining Mars in the 11th and Sun conjoining Mercury in the 11th house. So all to do with this profitability, focusing in on what it is you want to achieve as a life goal. And uh, also importantly, uh, dealing with friends and getting clarity in your relationships with them. How's that? I hope, okay, good. Uh, I hope to see you here next month, as usual, same time, same station. And in the meantime, you can uh, visit my website, astrology.com.au, for the more detailed analysis of what I've just given you here, daily and yearly readings as well. Uh, and along with that, you can uh, consult any of our astrologers and psychics through our Oranum network uh, and myself if you'd like to talk to me uh, your choice see you here next month bye bye